and girls, please welcome to the stage Lady Jane. No, it's not. It's not Lady. Yes, it is. It's Lady Jane Grey and Frank Spencer. Well, my lady, my lady. Whoa. Just be careful of these microphones down the corner. I'll tell you what. That could have gone badly, couldn't it? It was the start of a show there. So, the first two players, the first two team members for Team Bruce tonight for our first game, which we're going to find out all about from Mr. Parnell in just a moment's time. Lady Jane Grell. Grey, even. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay? Is that alright for you? Okay. Would you like to give us a twirl, my love? Give us a twirl. Did she do well? Did she do well? Excellent. Right, Lady Jane Grey, yes. microphone for you. In real life, Lady Jane Grey is Janet Owen. That's correct, isn't it? Correct. Okay. Hobbies, according to my little notes here, drama, panto, and singing. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Um, do you know what? You have come to the right place here. I, I know. Tell. You're all mad. I know. <laughs> Daughter of Henry Grey, the first Duke of Suffolk. Was it? That, well, that's the only word it says on here. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> just, just make a little note on this if I can find a pen. Go on then. Parents had money. That's sorted out. Now, you're renovating Ashley Castle at the moment, of course. Oh, yes. 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 yes, it'll yes. look yes. nice when it's finished, okay. but there's a lot of building work to go on. Okay. A queen for only nine days was no. Lady Jane Grey. Disgusting. It was only a short time, but she made her mark. She really did. I, I did, yes. Queen for nine days, does that mean you get bored easily? No, they just didn't want me after nine days. Anyway, Lady Jane Grey, ladies and okay. gentlemen, my first guest. Moving over, we are quite fortunate in Two Bruce tonight that not only do we have a very small stage that we're going to fall, somebody will fall off this stage by the end of the night, believe me. And it's probably, well, it'd be me as well. Yeah. We'll fall off together. We're going to, and then jump or something. On Team Bruce tonight, we do have a couple of people who are tremendous lookalikes. This is one of them. As if you needed telling, Frank Spencer. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you very much. You've got to say, oh, Betty, go on. Oh, Betty. Excellent. So, what do my notes say about you? In real life, John Paul Gardner. Oh, yes. Yes. You can be yourself as well if you want to, that's all right, don't I? Uh, hobbies apparently, cooking, travelling and football. That's correct. Excellent, excellent. Any particular team? Birmingham City. Birmingham City! Woo! Well, there's one person, there's, there's two of you now anyway, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, got a long-suffering wife called Betty. Betty and Jessica. And Jessica. Yeah. And I think you had a cat as well, is that correct? Yes, Cleopatra. Cleopatra the cat. Yeah, I asked her to um, not scratch the wallpaper and she let me box you my berry. No, <laughs> not the berry. Oh no, I've got a spare one. Oh. That's good, that's lovely. Is Betty here tonight? Let me know, she can make it, she's looking after Jessica. She's looking after Jessica. Now apparently it says here, driving test taken ten times. Oh, somebody beat me. <laughs> now, according to this, travelling hobby, driving test ten times, top tip from Brucey, take the train. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Frank Spencer, my second guest tonight. <laughs> 